Jets Browns coming up on EA Sports week two football on tap as we get set for today's game well Phil we've got a terrific matchup at running back two of the most dangerous backs in the NFL about to meet go toe to toe how do you see it well you know what it's not always about the quarterback when you talk about NFL games and and here's a great example of it today uh, the game of football is still about the most physical team wins and when you have running backs like this the more physical team will win. First down, offense readying for the snap. Manziel lines up in the pistol. Smith's going to secure the handoff. Goes to the left. Now that we've got a moment, let's look at the Browns' offense. They'll be trying to cut down on the turnovers. A week ago, they gave away the football two times. As Cameron tackles made. Well, here's the cover four defense. Four defensive backs stopping the deep passes down the field, but nobody is there to stop the crossing routes. Let's go now to Danielle Bellini, who has an injury update. Guys, I just spoke with a Browns official. The team is officially rolling him out for today's game with an upper body injury. Back to you. In addition, the staff will confirm an exact timeline for his return right now, guys. But he will be dealing with his injury for at least a couple weeks. And now, here's the Jets defense a week ago. They got to the quarterback on five occasions. Manziel set in the pistol. The Browns have it at the 44. He'll get it again. Out to the right. Friars there to take him down. You got to know if you're going to run the football, you're going to have a lot of short gains. There's going to be a lot of plays that look ugly. That's just the way it is. You got to live with it and know what's coming in the future. Heading to the line for a third down play. And this was something they specialized in last week. Converting in these situations. Third down and three. Now makes the move to the right. And he's taken down, but not until he picks up the first. That's a nice, powerful statement as they establish the run at the beginning of this game. Well, Jim, I, you're, you're right. I'm going to give the offense a little credit here, but... You know, somewhere, I don't know, maybe the defense is going to have to put some weights in their pockets. you got to hang in there and make the tackle. Incomplete, looking underneath that time. Good job by the linebacker. Just Number watching two. the quarterback read his eyes. He made the move at the right time, and he knocked the pass down. Second down after the incompletion. The Browns come out with a split backfield. Manziel standing back in the shotgun, ready for the snap. Looking to the right side and throwing. Incomplete. third down halfback sent in motion they'll hike it to him out of the shotgun almost intercepted that was a drive that looked like it had the makings of a touchdown but instead the defense is able to make a stand that's the great thing about playing defense, Jim, in the NFL. It just takes one play to stop a drive, and we just saw it that time by the defensive side. No return. The ball's coming out to the 20. They come to the line, and it's first down. The Jets with an empty backfield look here. Out of the shotgun. Heaving it down the field, but it's incomplete. get a look at the Jets lineup on offense. Last week their aerial attack was in high gear, throwing for over 300 yards. It's now second down. And William 
is a receiver all the way out to the right. To send it back to the quarterback out of the gun. And incomplete. And now we'll take a look at the Browns' defense. This is a ball-hawking unit that a week ago came up with four takeaways. This is third down. The Michael James is in the backfield. From the gun. Throws to the right. Reaches out and grabs it. The catch is made for a first down. The offense is set at the line for the first down after that completion. From the shotgun. No one was open. This is frustrating for a coach. You call a play, you get the receiver down the field on a corner route, and your quarterback cannot put it on the target. Second down here. The Jets lined up in the pistol. He's looking to the right here on this throw. Harvin's met after a gain of 13. What a nice catch by the receiver. Getting past the yard markers, makes the catch, and gets a first down. They're back at the line after that catch for a first down. The Jets line up, split backfield from the gun. Incomplete. Second down following that incompletion. Williams on the right side, split out wide. Takes it from the gun. To Williams makes the reception. The quarterbacks and receivers in this NFL now are so good. It's so easy for them to throw and catch and just keep picking up those first downs. The offense heads to the line for the seventh play of the drive. Johnson is in the backfield. First down at the 39. Here's the handoff, and he's brought to the ground. That was a power running play that time by the offense. It picked up some good yards. Nothing like it. Show the defense you're willing to get in there and slug it out and get some tough running yards. Second down and five. Looking to the right side and throwing. They bring him to the turf. Corner routes are not thrown enough in this league anymore. A lot of teams don't do it because it takes a strong arm quarterback to get it done. That was a terrific throw up the field that time. First down here after the completion. Nickel formation for the defense here. Johnson's taking the handoff. And game maybe four. Good job that time by the offense. Power run gets him a few yards. And it'll be second down and six after the running play on first down. Play after play after play here on this drive. Drop back, shotgun formation. Secures it with two hands. Touchdown, Jets. This goes to show you got to practice everything in the NFL. On both sides of the ball, you can tell the offense has practiced this quite a bit. The receivers were in position. The football came their way and they get a touchdown on a Hail Mary pass. And the kicker's ready to go.
Benjamin's got it on the return. And he's taken down right at about the 29, not quite to the 30. They face first down. The defense comes out in the nickel. Manziel's back in shotgun formation. Down the field. And he's intercepted. Twists away from the hit. The tackle is made. That was an awesome job by the defense. They just read the quarterback's eyes. They got in position, and they made the interception. It's first down as they head to the line. The Browns defense packs it in now. Going with the 46. Going deep. Hayden yearly comes away with the pick on that pass. There are a lot of ways to attack cover, too. You can go deep down the middle where neither the safeties are, or if a linebacker covers somebody deep down the middle, then throw it short underneath the defense. The Jets had to put last week's heart-wrenching loss behind them, and they've done that so far, although they've got another game that might be coming down to the wire. Yes, they do, Jim, right now, but what did you learn? Devin McCourney gets the theft. It's wide open, in on the stop. Nice job of the defense that time. In position, they read the quarterback's eyes, and it led to an interception. First down coming up. Keeps it here. It's intercepted. Good piece of tackling. His defensive coordinator, he is one aggressive dude. He keeps going after this offense, and finally he gets the interception inside uh, their own 20-yard line and stops the offense from getting any points. Big set here for the defense, lining up in the 4-6. Now on the move, and he's forced to the ground. There is nothing worse for a quarterback than have the pocket collapse, and that time they collapsed on his left side. There's nothing he can do, and he goes down for the sack. Second and 14 after the sack. It's Glennon out of the pistol. The catch is made. That picks up 11. Well, that's a good route that time by the wide receiver. They call that a post route, and they call it a post route because he is running towards the goal post. Nice throw catch. Third and two. Percy Harvin with the grab. They're in punting formation. Benjamin's got it now. And that's a gain of 13. First down here. Split backfield here. Ready, Luke. Dagger, 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 dagger. Go. Reaches out and snatches it. Smith marked down at the 34. Now to be a running back in the NFL, you got to do more than one thing, and you got to be part of the pass game. That was a wonderful job. Catching the short pass and picking up all those extra yards. The offense is set at the line for the first down after that completion. 
Smith's hand at the football. Able to take the football out to the 28-yard line. Nice play call that time by the offensive coordinator coming with the counter run. And the defense being too aggressive. They're over-pursuing. So you do the little counter, go the opposite direction, and it works well. The Browns take it from the 28. Trying the right side. He's tackled beyond the markers. It's a first down. They're able to move the chains after that last run. Offense lines up here. And the second quarter is underway with this snap. Smith marked down after a gain of nine. When you talk about cattle runs, what we just saw that time, the defense thinks the play's going one way, then a pulling guard or tackle comes around and catches a defensive lineman off guard and makes a good block. Second down and two. Throws the pass. Touchdown. Browns. Good job by the offense. They get in there. They tie this game up. Now we'll see if the defense can take advantage of that momentum and keep it on their side. The point after is good. The Jets are ready to return the kick. Takes off from the five. Just past the 20. We'll mark it at the 22-yard line. The Jets now ready to take over as their offense heads onto the field. Wide receivers are bunched up. The Jets from the 22. Scrambling now. Incompletion on that hurry throw. Lennon's able to get outside the pocket that time, and, and it's a good job getting outside the pocket, but there's nowhere to throw it. The pass is incomplete. After the incomplete pass, it brings up second down. Wide receivers stacked up on this play. He'll take the snap from the gun. Throw to the left. Complete to Harvin. Brought down at the 32. They come to the line of scrimmage. First down. The Jets come to the line with a bunch set. He'll stand back beyond the center, and Joe Hayden has the interception. He stacked up at that point. Good job that time by the defense. Not being fooled, being in position. When you're in position, you have a chance to make the play. That time they did, they got the interception. First down on the way. will go Brown, and he's tackled down at the 36-yard line. Smith's trying to be patient, but there is nowhere to run that time, and he only gets a short game. Well, we're anxious to hear the full story on that injury. Let's go down to Danielle Bellini with the story. Guys, I had a chance to speak with a Jets team official. Percy Harvin's hey, injury appears hey, to be related to the upper body. Hey, Trainers hey, are saying it is hey, a severe hey, injury, hey, but would not hey. confirm what the injury is at this time. That brings the play to an end. What that run does, it just puts the offense in a good situation. So a good, positive run. Now third and five after the run. They bring in the extra tight end. Over to Cameron. Games 16. The quarterback that time realized it was zone coverage. He just waited for the defense to get out of position better.
The Jets offense heads on to the field. Chris Johnson lined up in the backfield. First down and 10. And the give now to Chris Johnson. He'll be taken down about three yards short of the first. Defense with plenty of bodies in the box here on this play. The Jets take it from the 23. Chris Johnson takes the handoff. He's brought down at the 23-yard line. That's a good job by the defense, just playing the situation. Second and short, they know they have a conservative coach on the other side. They played for the run, and they stopped it short of the first down. Third down here. Offense trying to pick up the first. It's an empty backfield for Glennon this time. From the gun. Looking across the middle, the Jets get a first down. They're back at the line after that catch for a first down. Split backfield here. Dropping back now into the shotgun. Throws to the right. Gets it out for the completion. Still not taken down. That'll put them in what we call plus territory. When you see zone defenses, throw it into the open spaces. That's what the quarterback did that time. Good job by the receiver running in there and making the catch. First down here after the completion. It's Glennon out of the pistol. Looking long. What a catch. Touchdown, New York Jets. Nice job by the receiver running that fade down the field. Nice throw by the quarterback, and we get a touchdown. Inside of the uprights. The Browns are back deep, ready to return. They'll take it at the 20. First down here. Play action fake, looking to throw. Launching it deep. Pulls it in. Taken down at the 21. Jim, here we are early in the year, and these rookies, man, they're young, they're fast, they're fresh, they're excited. Nice job that time by the wide receiver catching the football deep down the field. The offense is set at the line for the first down after that completion. Gains a few. They'll take the snap from inside the red zone. A week ago, they had a lot of success inside the 20. Second down and seven. They'll run it. Here's the handoff. Gain maybe five. The Browns know once they get inside the 20-yard line, you have to be able to run the football also. It can't be pass, pass, pass all the time. The offensive line comes through. Good, solid run that time. Third and two here after the run. Manziel lines up in the pistol. They hand it off to him again. Smith marked down after a gain of four. First down by the offense in the red zone. And, you know, you're on the defensive side. You don't have to worry about deep passes anymore. You can be more aggressive and take some chances. First down here after the run. Smith's got it again. Fires the one who brings him to the ground. Good job by the safety, diagnosing the run, getting up outside and making the tackle for a short game. Offense lines up here. Second and goal from the nine. Very nearly intercepted. 
Can they call a play the defense hasn't seen yet to this point today? So it's third and goal. Touchdown ties it. I can't wait to see what the offense decides to do. Only nine yards to go. Third and goal from the nine. The defense gets a sack. You got to be quick and decisive when you're down near the goal line and you're throwing the pass as a quarterback. That time it was not, and he takes a huge sack. A short field goal try on the way. No doubt about it. Put three on the board. Well, it was a beautiful drive down the field. Long drive by the offense. They do not get the seven points, but they're fortunate. They do get the field goal try, and they make it. Takes it from the four, and here we go. He's brought down. The Jets offense now coming out. First down at the 17. On the money. Picks up eight here. A lot of times you look at the drag route, you think that's the safety valve. You know what? It is. The quarterback is always taught to look down the field. If there's nobody open, throw it to the drag route coming across the field. That time they did it, it's just short of getting the first down. Johnson is in the backfield. Second down and two. Still got it after the play action. Really good job by the defensive coordinator. Good time to call that blitz. Catches the offense by a surprise, and they just outnumber him, and they get to the quarterback, and they take him down. The defense pushed the offense back with the sack, and the offense needs nine now on third down. It's all about play calling in situations like that. When you have a small lead, you're trying to protect it, you want to control the football, you can't expect just to go out there and run normal plays. The offensive coordinator's got to give you something that they're not ready for. They didn't do it that time, that's why they're punting after three downs. Third and four. Can't find a mark that time as the pass goes incomplete. Sometimes on the defensive side, hurrying the quarterback is just as good as sacking him because when you hurry, he doesn't have time to think. He's probably not going to be as accurate, and they get the incompletion. Good job by the defense. Benjamin return. He's brought to a halt. <laughs> Browns come on to the field for their next series. They've come out in the dime package. First down at the 28. Looking long. Rebus nearly comes away with the pick on that pass. Which is not a good decision by the quarterback. I mean, maybe on the sidelines they keep calling the wrong plays, but he's attacking the strength of this cover two defense. Don't do that. Throw where they're not. That's deep down the middle. That leads us to second down. The defense comes out of the dime. Snap it out of the gun. Scrambling out of the pocket. Picked up a couple that time. The Jets decide to take a timeout here, leaving them with only one. It's third down coming up. Loading up with extra defensive backs in the dime. Manziel's going to take it from the gun. On the money. Games 14. And the timeout is called, so we're going to take a quick break and return in just a moment. First down. Offense readying for the snap. 
It's a dime look for the defense on this play. They'll go shotgun here. He'll throw it over the middle. Makes the catch in the open field. Offense going to stop the game here with a timeout. They're back at the line after that catch for a first down. The Jets' defense now loading up, expecting Ready, pass with a dime 20, defense. Manziel's going to take the snap from the shotgun. And it falls incomplete. In the NFL, you got to throw the football deep down the field, but the quarterback just, he overthrows it. Coming up, second down. The Jets will come out in the dive. Out of the gun. Launches it down the field. Incomplete. Almost going in the other direction. The defense did everything right in that situation. They were in the right spot. They were smart. They read the quarterback's eyes. But they dropped the pass. He'll try this one from 55. The Jets have to take their final timeout. That's it. Third down on the way. This will probably be the last play of the first half. Out of the shotgun formation. Looking to go down the field here. And it falls incomplete. So that's going to do it here for the first half. Jets are up here in this one. Okay, Larry, looking sharp back in that studio. Thank you for that. And now we're ready to get the third quarter underway as these teams take the field. into him, ending the return at the 20-yard line. They come to the line, and it's first down. Coming to the line, hoping to avoid being sacked for a third time. Finds his mark. That'll stop the play right there. Arm strength is a nice thing to have when the window of opportunity is very small. Quarterbacks with strong arms can still fire it in there. Nice throw right on target by the QB. That was a nice reception, but not enough for the first down. Second down coming up. Split backfield here from the shotgun. And he takes off. He's got the catch. Tackles made. That's what you want to do. Get a first down while you're on top and keep that clock moving and just controlling the football game. Good job by the offense managing things so far here today. They face first down. They'll hike it to him out of the shotgun. Throws the pass. My goodness, what a hit. And the ball falls incomplete. Good anticipation that time by the defender. He gets to the receiver just as the football is arriving. And he makes a beautiful hit to knock the football loose. Second down now. Out of the shotgun. Out to the left. Catch made. No one's going to get him now. The 30, the 20, the 10. It is hard to make a tackle from behind out there in open space with the speed of all these guys in the NFL, but a good job that time by the defense making that tackle. First down here after the completion. 
Let's see what they do on first down following that huge play. If I'm on the defense and the offense is this close to scoring, I'll tell you what I'm doing. I am sending everybody. I am going to gamble that it is a run. If they have the courage to throw it, let them. If they do, of course, it'll be a touchdown. And here we have second down. Defense ready in the goal line formation on this one. And this will end up as a two-yard loss. Boy, it's third and goal. Close game here. You want to get a touchdown. That's what you want. You come away with three, that's going to be a big disappointment for your offense. Just four yards away from the end zone. Goal line defense on the field. Third and goal at the four. Makes the catch. Touchdown. Touchdown. It gets pretty tight down in here when you got third and goal. Not a lot of room for receivers to work in, but the quarterback and receiver, they're on the same page. Good throw and catch. An extra point is good. Jets getting ready for the kickoff. And now Benjamin able to move past the 20 and brought down at the 23. Browns offense zebra, now marches zebra, onto zebra, the field. Zebra. The Browns in the pistol Ray, formation. Go. The Browns take it from the 23. Charging ahead. And he's brought to the ground. Smith's a dangerous runner when you give him room to run, but there is no room this time. What a job by the defense. They bottle him up for a short game. That last running play was good for only a yard, so it's second down and nine. Manziel lines up in the pistol. Smith's going to take the handoff now. Swallowed up behind the line of scrimmage. Well, Jim, they didn't pull the defense at all. Second down, you run the football, hoping to make it third and short. Then you lose yards, third longs. They're hard to get in the NFL. It'll be third down. Manziel's lining up in the pistol. Ball has been picked off. When you get an opportunity like this, you want to take advantage of it. The defense did. The opportunity was there. They get a chance to intercept the football. They do. Now can their offense take advantage of this situation? Defense comes out in a 4-6 formation. First and goal from the eight. Clemens is there to make the stop. Jim, the offensive coordinator, has done a terrific job so far here today. He's got his team winning. You're in the red zone. Let's see how clever he's going to be on this call. This will be second down. The defense loading up on the line, getting set for this snap. Ready to make the stop on the goal line. Loading up that defensive front. The defense is ready to plug up the middle here on the goal line. Second and goal from the five. Hand off. A tackle behind the line. Jim, I just want to say this to the quarterback. It's third and goal. If the play's not there, throw it away. Do not force the action. Breaking huddle at the six. Third and goal from the six. Intercepted. He's got a little bit of daylight here. They bring him to the turf. Wonderful job by the defense that time. They stayed after it. And inside their own 20, they finally come up with the play. They get the interception, and they keep the other team from getting points on the board. 
It's first down as they head to the line. Smith's going to secure the handoff. Running to the right. And a gain of four. The Browns defense now trying to keep him out of the end zone and prevent this game from tightening up. Well, let's see if they can keep him out of the end zone. This defense, when he, the offense gets inside the 10-yard line, they have not been very good. We'll see if they cuts down and drawing close. When you're behind in the football game, drive down and score, they did that. Now, the next time when they get back out there, they got to do it again. Show some patience and drive it down the field. Smith, and so they convert it here on the two-point try. The Jets are ready to return the kick. No return here as he takes a knee in the end zone. The Jets bring their offense back onto the field for their next drive. Coming to the line, hoping to avoid being sacked for a third time. And off the mark on that short throw. Man, the quarterback, the coaches, his teammates, everybody loves to see a player give that type of effort. How about the receiver just going all out to make the catch? Doesn't quite get there, but the effort is outstanding. Failing to complete that one. So, second down here. Williams lined up outside on the right. We'll send it back to the quarterback out of the gun. The defense gets the sack. Well, good job that time by the defense. They catch the offense off guard. And they send more guys than the offensive line can block. When you're outnumbered, it's up to the quarterback to get rid of the football. He does it, and he takes the sack. To complete that one, and that's a very quick three and out. Quigley will be called on now to punt the football. The tackle was made. First down coming up. Zebra, zebra. Smith's lined up behind zebra. his quarterback as the single back. The give outside to the right. In on the stop. And now they'll try over again zebra, on second zebra. down. The Browns pistol set here. To the ground. Left side. Keeps his legs moving. Well, I think we all know the situation here. It's a close game in the second half, and you're losing. But you pick up a first down. Oh, my gosh. That opens up many more possibilities. What you can do on the offensive side. Good job by the offense. Wide receivers are bunched up. The Browns have it at the 29. The handoff to Ben Tate. And he's brought down, but he has the first. Anytime your team is down, you're inside the other team's red zone, you look for one of your star players, your quarterback, wide receiver, or running back. They need to make a big play here. New set of downs now after picking up the first on the ground. Wide receivers stacked up on this play. 20. Zebra, Zebra. Has Gordon. And that's a gain of 10. The Browns had a nice play designed that time. It pulled the defense and they get the pass completion for a nice pickup. Second down. Nickel formation here for the defense. Smith's hand at the football. They jam it in on the goal line. Touchdown. Good job on that touchdown. That puts them ahead. And it's always, of course, better to be ahead than behind. Driving extra point is good. 
Everyone's lined up for this kickoff. And they stop him from running it out to the 20. Mark him down at the 19. The Jets are ready to take over now, and their offense heads on to the field. Split backfield here. He'll take the snap, the first here in the fourth quarter. And he's thrown to the ground. Well, you see it all the time. When the offensive line can't stop the defensive pass rush, then you have your running backs hit a defensive lineman before they go out for the pass. Second down coming up. Chris Johnson lined up in the backfield. He sends the halfback in motion from the gun. Looking across the middle, airtight coverage, incomplete. When you get in a situation like this as a quarterback, it's in the second half, it's third and long, you're losing a close game, it's up to you to make the right decision. Don't force the issue. If it's not there, throw it short or throw it away. Failing to connect there, third down. From the shotgun. Makes the grab and the feet are down. The Jets, good job that time moving the chains, oh, picking up that first down. And Jim, of course, there's no time to panic. So the challenge pays off. The referee overturns the play. Yeah, good challenge by the coach that time, Jim. The evidence was clear. And always, I think when you're a head coach in the NFL, you better have a trusted friend up there to tell you, watch the TV, and let you know when the challenge. Good job by the head coach. Browns ready now to start their next Dagger. series. Take it here from the 30. Dagger. Dagger. For this play, Dagger. they'll go with two, two tight 20. ends. Why 20? Dagger. 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 First down at the 30. Smith's got it on the handle. And they'll end up losing four here. Good job by the defense. They stopped the offense that time on first down. Now the defense is in a good situation. Second down coming up. He'll keep it on the play fake. Going for the home run. Interception. Good piece of tackling. That was an awesome job by the defense. They just read the quarterback size. They got in position and they made the interception. First down here. Johnson is in the backfield from the gun. Running away from the pressure. Down the field. Has the catch. The Jets look pretty confident out there on the field, don't they? And they're, they're very calm, and they should be. That first down, they're right in this game. Down a couple points here in the second half. Don't look down the field for that big play. Just keep marching. They come to the line of scrimmage. First down. That was a big gainer. Now it's time to pack it up. Takes it from the gun. Jets in for the score. Good job that time by the offense. Scoring that touchdown and putting him ahead. And when you get ahead in a football game, the National Football League, it makes you relax and you play better. The Browns are back deep, ready to return. That's a touchback, and the ball will be spotted at the 20. 
The Browns ready to take over the football. Smith in the backfield. Single back set. Now first and ten. They're going to get him here for a sack. Well, I know this feeling. When a blitzer's coming, nobody's there to block him. There's nothing you can do as a quarterback, but try to protect yourself because you're going down. That's second down coming up. Manziel lines up in the pistol. Throwing now to his left. And they bring it down at the 38-yard line. Big first down by the offense that time here in the second half. They're losing a close game. And you get that first down, it just gives you confidence. It opens up the playbook, and it just gives you a better chance of going down the field and getting the score. First down following the long play. Smith's going to take the handoff now. They deck him in the backfield. Good job by the defense. They stopped the first down play that time by the offense, and now they have a good situation. Second down after going to the ground game, the first play. Manziel's setting up now in the pistol. Smith's going to secure the handoff. They bring him down at the 41-yard line. Power running. A lot of teams in this league don't even do it anymore. This team, they can power it up in there and pick up those tough yards. See what they do on this third down situation. Wide receivers are bunched up. The Browns get a first down. That's been the story of this game. Another third down conversion to move the chains. The offense is set at the line for the first down after that completion. That long gain sets them up here on this play. Toss play. He stacked up at that point. That last running play was good for only a yard, so it's second down and nine. Time is running out. The defense knows it's playing with the lead, but doing whatever it can to just try to run out the clock. Feeds him again. Taken down at the 33. Smith's never able to build up that power that he has as a running back when there's nowhere to go. Hey, there's nowhere to go. That's a short game. Following the run, it's now third and seven. And now we reach the two-minute warning. Coming up. Third down, a huge moment. This game is closing in on a finish, and the defense can make one play and basically end the game. Smith lined up now as the running back behind the quarterback. The Browns take it from the 33. Gets it again. 
and he's going to be tackled, and that's going to bring us to fourth down. They won't kick the field goal now. They're going to go for it. They'll go right to the hurry up. Won't use a timeout here. Won't kick the field goal now. They're going to go for it instead. Coming to the line, hoping to avoid being sacked for a third time. The Browns take it from the 28. Another carry here. He's in the clear all the way home and all alone. Touchdown. When you have speed at the running back position, you can take ordinary plays and make them spectacular. And that's what they did this past time. It was an ordinary run, but the running back got a little daylight and able to outrun everybody for the long touchdown run. Fields the football at the three. And they're all over him at the 18-yard line. First down, pressure on every snap now. He's setting up here. He's been sacked four times already. What a beating it has been for the quarterback. First down at the 18. Set up screen to Johnson. Second down coming up. Time, obviously, a factor the rest of the way. Chris Johnson lined up in the backfield. Second and ten. He has the grab. Got the first on his way. He's at the 50, the 40, the 30. Stiff arms to stay on his feet. Johnson's tackled down. What a nice throw and catch yeah, that, that time, but here it just shows you why you want to have a lot of speed on the defensive side. So when you make a mistake, what do you do? You make up for it by chasing the player down from behind and making the tackle. Now on first down, every snap crucial the rest of the way. Let's see how they back up the big play here. Williams out to the left. Gets about nine on the play. The Browns call a timeout and are left now with only one. Every play is huge now. Second down on the way. Offense lines up here. Gets the handle here. In the end, it picks up only a yard. The Jets did a good job that time picking up the first down. Let's look at the situation. You're behind just by a few points in the second half. You keep looking to pick up those first downs, and, you know, you get it up, but what does it do? Pretty simple. It leads to a score. He's setting up here. He's been sacked four times already. What a beating it has been for the quarterback. First and goal from the three. He'll short run, and it's a touchdown. I'd say this run by the offense is just, it's arrogance. They just say, you can't stop us. And they lined up and just shoved it down the defense's throat. Nice run there on first and goal for the touchdown. Jets getting ready for the kickoff. Touchback now as the ball comes out to the 20. First down. Let's see what they come up with here. Manzel lines up in the pistol. First and ten. He'll fire it out to the left. Almost intercepted. Every quarterback in the NFL is going to have one or two passes a game. They can't be picked off. Most of the time, they're dropped. And this time, that was a bad drop by the defense. The Browns come to the line of scrimmage in the fourth quarter and out of timeouts. Manziel's going to be in the pistol here. Second down and ten. Smith's taking the handoff. That's a gain of eight. 
when you're going against a really athletic defense, there's nothing like reverses and the counter run game because they see it, they go, and you counter it, and that's why it works to perfection. Time is the huge factor as he's tackled. Crucial play here. Fourth down on the way. Going to the hurry up. Under a minute to go here. 380. 380. The Jets call a timeout. Their first. New York calls timeout. They'll go for it on fourth down. Late stages. Split backfield here. Manziel's got it in the gun. Airing it out. A takeaway. And he will not score. This game is over. Now you start to get a little momentum going. You got the win last week, and you pick up another victory here today. It's just awesome, isn't it? Uh, you know, athletes are incredible. Give them a little positive reinforcement like winning the football game. They believe in what they can do. Uh, the coaches believe in them. So they actually give them more opportunities. They trust them more. And that's how you get a winning streak going. What a memorable game this truly was. For Phil Simms, Danielle Bellini, and Larry Ridley, Jim Nance saying so long for now, and we leave you with the GMC Never Say Never moment of the game.